Hello and welcome to a new video. This is me, Martin, and I make videos about teaching online, edtech related videos and all that sort of stuff. If you do like this video, then please don't hesitate to like and click that thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from a particular teacher that I saw on a Facebook group with regards to Preply. And this teacher was asking how I share my PowerPoint via Preply. And I thought today, let's answer it. So um, as you can see, um, I'm sharing my screen here and you can see that uh, I've got my, um, just how to shot my little webcam here and uh, it's uh, just sitting there at the moment on top of my monitor. Let's put it down. And uh, you can see here on the Preply space, uh, you've got the usual tags such as the, the chat box. Um, you've also got the notes and, you know, you can create uh, and make a note of all the sort of things that uh, students want and the objectives of the lesson. I find the notes quite useful, but I tend to also make my own notes on my computer as well. Um, you've got vocabulary, so you can create flashcards and that sort of thing. And you've got a speaking tracker. And I don't really use much of the uh, tools on Preply apart from sharing my screen and sharing Google Chrome. So um, let's have a look here. And um, so in terms of PowerPoint, um, I've got my trial lesson here. And one thing I would say about PowerPoint and sharing it on um, Preply is you don't want the PowerPoint to go the whole screen or the whole monitor because it's very difficult to manage then. So what I tend to do is I go and click on slideshow and then set up slideshow. If you click on set up slideshow you're given a box and you can see here presented by a speaker full screen. We don't want the full screen. We've got browsed by an individual and a window. And now we want to click on browse by an individual window. And if you hit the presentation tool um, or the slideshow tool, you can see here that it's now in a window rather than the whole screen. Um, and this is what I like about PowerPoint and this is how I manage my um, PowerPoint. So. I just move it slightly to the left there and it's just taken up a window rather than the whole screen. So like I said, it's easier to manage. I go down and click share screen and here on the share screen, we've got um, window. Um, it's come up with status indicator. I'm not entirely sure what that is. We've got the prep plea. We've got PowerPoint and um, I've got garage band running with this microphone and the recording. Um, so here I would click on PowerPoint slideshow under window and click share. And here the student will be able to see just your PowerPoint. And then I just go through um, with regards to my trial lesson. Um, there's an annotation tool. I've not seen what this is. It's probably quite new um, from Preply, but I don't entirely know. Um, want to get early access to our annotation tool? Oh, yes, please. Um, so, hmm, maybe it's a future update. That'd be interesting. Anyway, let's stop sharing the screen. And now what I tend to use is Google Docs. And to share Google Docs, I click on share screen. And then it's got Chrome tab. And here we've got, for example, a speaking feedback and all my notes on a particular lesson. And I click share and it comes up with regards to uh, a lesson that I, I do with my students looking at uh, idiomatic expressions. So um, that is it. That is how I share my PowerPoint and that's share how I share my Google Documents or Chrome tabs. And um, I would recommend anyone who uh, wants to incorporate PowerPoint um, 
or Microsoft Word or anything else like that into their Preply lessons. Have a look at the tools, have a look at the various um, uh, opportunities through Preply because it can be quite convenient and quite flexible in that regard. I hope you enjoyed today's short video. Um, if you did, give it that thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? Go on, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload a new video and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, stay safe and happy teaching. Bye bye.